Let's make a quick recording of some testing that I did earlier today that I think is interesting. I have Open Web UI here. That's what we're looking at from a GUI standpoint with my old Llama running behind it. And I have two vision models here. I have the Llama 3.2 Vision 11B. And uh, this is actually how I got started on this journey a couple months ago, right? Uh, with this uh, picture of my dog. And you can see uh, that my wife took, and you can see that prior to the holiday period, he got to get dressed up in reindeer antlers. Uh, and it picked up on that, right? So it understood it was a boxer, brown and white, size medium, calm and relaxed, because he is a very chill boxer when he's we're hanging out with him. Reindeer antlers with red and green bows. So that's great, right? Describe that image. I thought that was very powerful. Uh, we then ran a test with uh, handwriting recognition. So you can see here, da, da, da. the first name includes Kate. It did not pick up on the last name. And that's fair. It was a little hard to read. Let's kind of blow that up a little bit. So there's the last name, first name, date of birth right there, 5970, and the primary insurance. So typically what you they want, in the U.S. at least, they want your first name, your last name, your date of birth, and who's your insurer. I actually had that call today from another doctor's office. So what's the date of birth? You can see in this case, it did pick up Kate uh, McCauley and May 9th, 1970. This is made up data, by the way. And what's the home phone number? Got that home address. It got that. Uh, yeah, let's double check on that home phone number. Um, oh, come on now. Scroll for me. There we go. Well, there we go. Uh, double check the phone number. Eight eight seven two five 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 five. You notice this is purposely not very neat just to see what it would do. So eight seven two eight seven three. So um, a little discussion. I can see how I could got a three out of that, but I think that was two in this case. This is my wife's handwriting. She purposely did this to make it more interesting and a greater test. I found a prescription online. Uh, I don't know who that's for, but I found it on Google Images, and it did figure out Augment and, and Before Meals, Pan-D. I did, I, then I thought, let me throw some business type things at it. So in this case, it's a graph uh, that I created, and I said, I want to know what country is performing the best, and it couldn't, it did not know. Okay, it did not know that the U.S. there, which is obviously greater than the rest in terms of, you know, this chart, uh, that it could not figure that out. Then I tried another chart that I had, which was, you know, tell me about Peru and age 60 to 64. What's the best age to retire or what percentage? And so where is Peru? Peru is here. So that should be 41 percent uh, as the answer. And it kind of struggled with that also. So. Once I got into business mode, I thought, well, let me flip models. I flipped to the granite model, okay, flipped to the granite model and tried to ask the same questions. Which country performs the best? USA. Uh, this is a 2B model, so it's actually a lot smaller than the, the llama model, but it was a model optimized for more of those businessy type use cases. In this case, things like uh, chart reading is an example. And so what about Ghana, 60 to 64? See, the Ghanaians are 58% believe retirement should be between 60 and 64. I uh, got this out of some census data, so 58% that got that one. And I thought I'd throw a hard one at it. I pulled this one out of another, uh, I forget where I pulled this from, uh, you know, just another census thing, public data. And you can see here, right, median household income. Uh, and I wanted to know about the Northeast. Northeast, $80,360, right, for the family income there. $80,360. And it picked that up right out in that very complex, dense chart there. Picked that up there. Uh, and then I want to ask it, what about this line graph and what aspects are applying downward pressure? And it did not figure that one out. You know, you can see it picked up the OPEC um, information at the top, but that's upward pressure, not downward pressure on the price of Brent crude oil. Uh, and but, you know, what is the price? Is it trending up or down? It's trending down. So I got a lot more tests I would like to run with these vision models, both both uh, kind of fun ones as well as businessy ones like you saw here. You know, like, um, and there's some other tests I've been running for, like, you know, creating marketing copy or finding other handwriting information. But I'm interested in this chart reading idea. I'm going to spend some more time there as I as I find more interesting charts for these vision models to tackle. And then I can use Docling to, in some cases, and actually that's what I did. Some of these charts came from Docling, meaning Docling extracted the chart out of a PDF. And I was trying to see if I could read the chart after that as an example. So Docling would be my consumer of PDFs. All right, that's a quick demo. And... We'll be doing more research in this category in the, for in the future.